Tip 1. The first thing is to check if the owners have engaged an exclusive agent or not. When an owner engages multi-agents to sell the property, it may not mean they are desperate and ready to accept any offers. They might just want to speed things up and close the deal fast. This strategy may backfire as there are ways to exploit this arrangement. Assume that you have viewed and liked the unit. You can give a minimum offer to the seller's agent and remind them that you are aware that this is not an exclusive listing. To avoid losing out to other competing agents, that agent will be motivated to help you push through the deal and negotiate with the seller. In a multi-agent situation, it's very hard for the property agents to hold the prices as they're worried of losing the deal to their competitors. Tip 2. Before putting up an offer, it's always good to understand the owner's situation. Are they the first owners? What was the purchase price? First owners will usually be sitting on bigger profits if they've been around for more than 10 years. This may signal more room for negotiation. Sometimes, direct questions like why are you selling may not get you a truthful answer. Asking indirect questions may help you understand the owner's motivation for selling. For example, have you found a new place already? Do you need extension of stay are better indirect questions. After knowing your seller's needs, review your own situation and determine what are your bargaining chips. Many buyers will overlook the fact that besides pricing, there are many other factors at play during negotiation. Some sellers may need longer completion period or extension of stay. Sellers who need above concessions may prefer to close the deal with you over another high offer. Tip 3. The final selling price will be based on supply and demand factors. After shortlisting a particular condo, find out the number of listings in that project. View as many listings as possible to give yourself more options. You put yourself in a better bargaining position if you have more choices. If possible, let the seller's agent know that you are also considering other units in the same condo. When they know that you are a serious buyer, they will be motivated to bridge the price gap between buyers and sellers. Tip 4. My advice is to get an IPA done before viewing. An IPA is a pre-approved loan from a bank based on income. An IPA is non-binding and you are free to choose other banks later. You can call up any bank or get a property agent to refer you a trusted banker. Some buyers feel that they can get IPA done after they found a property they like. In a fast-moving market, right price listing will be gone very fast. Besides IPA, you also must be mentally ready to make an offer when you see a good deal. Remember, it could be a 10 viewing, but it may be 100 viewing for the owners. It's common for owners to reduce the asking price after a few months of marketing. When the owners experience seller's fatigue and signal to the agents that price is negotiable, you have to grab a deal fast. There are also special cases where owners suddenly become very motivated to sell. For example, couples who need to sell their first property within 6 months in order to claim back ABSD. Are you looking for a new launch or resale condo? Call us at our number over here for a no obligation chat or visit our YouTube channel over here for more buying tips.